Titta där är Pokémon! Som några punkare sa när min bror praktiserade på en leksaksaffär när han var liten. Uh, back to English. Here we go. It's a wonderful day in Sweden. Bumblebees collecting nectar, butterflies spreading their wings, and the sun shining down upon vegetation and animals. The perfect day for a wonderful stroll in the park, to gather your thoughts or just enjoy being alive. The wind in your hair, the sun on your skin, and the smell of fresh flowers blooming. And an insane amount of people staring at their phones? Normally this area of the park is barren, aside from the occasional tourist or people walking by. The fountain isn't even turned on yet and still people are flocking here. What's the cause of this sudden invasion of people staring into their phones? The answer is these blue cubes with pink flower petals. Pokemon Go has arrived and nothing will ever be the same again. But to understand what this is all about, I will take you back to square one. My first day of Pokemon Go. Here we go. When I started this game, I didn't know what to expect. After seeing my brother running around, stopping to catch Pokemon everywhere and annoying me to no end while on our way to a restaurant, and I was starving, I decided to download it. I wanted to see what all this media storm was about. I wanted to make this YouTube video. My very first experience was bad. Really, really incredibly bad. Even Badong, if anyone has seen that movie. Creating my account worked fine, but once I got inside to play the game... Damn. First, I got a bug so that Pokemon wouldn't appear. Only the small circle below them. So I was confused and couldn't progress. I thought I was supposed to enter that circle and do something, but... I just couldn't do anything, and I was pissed off. The next problem was the servers going down. So, once I realized that was just a bug, I couldn't even play and random crashes causing my Pokeballs to freeze over and over again. Didn't help out either. But now I had started building up my very weak army of Pokemon. Gotta catch them all and all that. And the music was very fast and catchy. Remixes of the old classic Pokemon songs as well as some new ones filled my ears all the time. When I could actually play. I got excited when I approached the gym, even though I couldn't enter because of my character level. But it gave me something to look forward to. I also encountered spinning Pokeballs on the map, which are locations where you can get stuff. Like Pokeballs. You actually need to visit these to play or you'll have to buy everything from the cash shop. So just get out there walking. I also learned that to progress I needed to catch as many Pokemon as possible to improve my character level, which in turn leads to more rare Pokemon with higher combat power. The game rewards you by walking around in real life since that's how you catch the Pokemon and hatch certain special eggs. I found not only Pokemon by walking, I also found some new locations I had never visited before in real life. Suddenly I was surrounded by water, other Pokemon players walking around everywhere and I even found some fighting ducks. I finally got off my World of Warcraft and Mario Maker ass and got out into the real world, at the same time as I was playing an addicting game. I literally got the best of two worlds at the same time. And the next day, things will become even better. Except for the bugs. Those damn bugs are killing this game. Seriously. So I'm standing here with Andreas in Linköping right now and he is a Pokemon Go player and he's going to answer a few questions about Pokemon Go.
Absolutely. Yeah. How did you get to know about the game? Uh, I heard about it last year, during the fall, I think, when it was under. Uh, yeah, it was under. I think the, I got some newsletter from a site, and my friend, who also is a very Pokemon freak, suggested that this is something we should look up in the future. So I was really, I was really happy when I heard about the news. So. I'm standing here with two Pokemon Go players who are in Team Valor, which is the red team, and I have a few questions to them. Thank you for participating in this interview. How did you get to know about the game? Uh, it's everywhere in the internet. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's so from everywhere. social media? Yeah, social yeah, exactly. media and everywhere. <laughs> then something weird happened. I found two girls I wanted to interview, but in some way they convinced me to be the one who was interviewed instead. So here we go, two random strangers interviewing me in my own video. Uh, I was going to interview two girls here, but they didn't want to, so instead they interviewed me about my own questions. I don't know how I got into this situation, but here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how did you get to know about the game? <laughs> I actually got to know about it in the news mag uh, when the news magazine started to talk about it. I didn't quite really know it existed before that. So, it was my brother who got me hooked. Cool. <laughs> what is your highest level Pokémon right now, or high CP Pokémon? I have a Vaporeon at 1100, I think, ish. But I don't use my, what do you call it, Stardust. I used to just collect it due to when I reach higher level, I will obviously use it for higher end Pokemon like Snorlax or Dragonite or something like that. So now I'm just farming Pokemon. So. Yeah, so right now it's 1100. 1100. Yes. What is your highest level Pokemon? Oh. Level of Pokemon? My highest. CP, I mean. My oh. highest combat level is about 400? Yeah, maybe? mine too. So around 400. Yeah. yeah. Yes, what Pokemon is it? Uh, I can check. <laughs> oh, I think it's. Mine is, mine is Pidgeot. It's yes. 441. Yes. Uh, the evolution of uh, Dao Z. Hype now. Hype. 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 What is your highest level Pokemon? It's around 740 right now. Uh, it's I don't remember the name. It's the upgrade of Drowsy. Gosh. So it's around 740. I had it over there at the gym before, but it got knocked out, so I got pissed off. I didn't get the coin. <laughs> <laughs> what team did you choose and why? Uh, I chose the yellow one. Never remember the names of the teams actually. But the color is better, so. Yeah, the color yellow. Is that the reason for your dress? No. Um, I don't know. I guess that I have a small thought that the team represented the legendary birds. And I figure that Zapdos is the, bet the better bird, I think. <laughs> yeah. And I like that Pokemon more than the other two Articune and Moltres, so hopefully. I'm able to catch, uh, capture the Zapdos in the future. Uh, what team did you choose and why? I already answered which team, but yeah. why did you choose it? We chose Valor because of... Basically my friends chose yeah. it. And we liked it too. Yeah. Um, we decided to like, be the same. Yeah, you're chapping. <laughs> it's uh, either the blue one or the red one that's, yeah, that you sh choose. So I'm gonna be fighting you too, in other words, because I am in blue. In blue. <laughs> <laughs> what team did you choose and why? I chose blue because they thought sounded intelligent, and that's like the only reason. And the, now she's frowning too. They are the worst. Sorry, but red. you're gonna lose. That's the reason why. <laughs> Everybody takes red here, it seems. Yep. <laughs> How many coins have you earned from gym battle so far? Not much. It's pretty hard to stay in the gym, especially when you are yellow. So I think uh, here in the uh, there are more blue and red. I'm blue. You're blue, okay. I uh, saw so a lot of blue gyms today, so... We are a minority in yellow, so it's pretty hard to um, capture several gyms at one time, because... Yeah, I can't capture one gym, but I never get to the next one before the last one gets captured. So. Hmm? How many coins have you earned from gym battles? Uh, nothing yet. No, we haven't so far, entered nothing. a gym battle yet. I kind of suspected that at 400, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, how many coins have you earned from the gym battles? Zero. 
Yeah. I've been knocked out all the time. <laughs> I'm working on it. I've been grinding for three days now. <laughs> the second day of my Pokemon Go playing, I managed to get to level 5. The gyms were now open to me and I could try out to battle. Something that didn't work out so well. It wasn't because of the low level of my Pokemons. But the game crashed. Over and over again and I just couldn't battle. I also started unlocking achievements. Or medals as they're called in this game. The higher your level the more unlocks for it to complete. Medals come in three tiers. Bronze, silver and gold. With increasing difficulty. Usually they are about collecting things or walking certain distances. I also started experimenting with Stardust. It may sound like a hippie drug or something, but it's just the way you level your Pokemon and make them stronger. And to get this you need to capture more Pokemon. So if you think catching one of each is enough, you are wrong. To get anywhere in this game you need to capture so many of each kind that they almost go extinct. I stopped walking long walks by myself and went into the city park, and for the first time I encountered Pokemon lures on my minimap. Remember those pink flower petals at the Pokestops from the start of the video? That's Lures. Lures attracts Pokemon, not only to the player that use them, but everyone around them as well. So finding a dense area of pink falling flower petals is a dream to everyone playing the game. Which is why the most dense Pokestop areas end up like this. This is not only good for the players who play the game, but businesses around these areas also gain a lot from this since it attracts so much people that need to eat, drink and poop. I know, because I was eating at a restaurant next to Pokemon stops. I never pooped, but I did pee. People stared at me when I was aiming around to the left and right. With the phone, I mean, not the... Okay, uh, time for more interview questions. Uh, are you addicted yet? And if so, why? Kind of addicted. Um, one reason is that it's Pokemon. Uh, I obviously have had Pokemon in my life since I got Pokemon Gold when it came out to Game of Color. And this kind of game is kind of grindy. So I'm pretty good at grinding games. So Especially now, I'm maybe addicted to just uh, collecting circus overall and it's kind of fun to meet new people. Shall I take it you're a WoW player as well then? Sure. Collecting transmogs, mounts, pets? Uh, maybe not that but in game I like to. I'm typ typical uh, side mission guy in games and just want to grind the 100% so. So you don't play World of Warcraft? I don't play World of Warcraft. <laughs> uh, are you addicted yet? And if so, why? <laughs> not sure, maybe. It's discussable. Like, yeah. um, maybe. I mean, like, Since it's not a priority um, for uh, other things, but I mean, it's a fun thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. And why do you think, what is it that makes the game so fun and addicting to play? It's, it's a new way of playing games. Yeah, and, it's uh, really different. It's something from your youth, so it's, it's pretty fun to pick up the old. Old uh, play. Yeah, old it's a whole new play. idea of a game. Like you have to get out and do something. You can't just sit in your room uh, with a computer. Are you addicted yet? And if so, why? Uh, in the beginning, I said I won't play this game because I will get addicted, and because my brother saw said that. Uh, when I saw my brother running around, I thought like, idiot. But then I started to playing it because I wanted to make this YouTube movie and now I'm super addicted to it, so yes. And I think the addicting part are the social aspects and the collecting, because people like collecting stuff. Has this game changed your social or exercising life? Yeah, yeah, I'm... Totally, I'm taking like walks for three to four hours a day now. <laughs> Besides that I'm uh, training at the gym. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of calories burning there when I'm walking three hours, so I think it's wonderful that other people are doing it as well. I mean, they are genius for coming out with this kind of games that actually make people go out and socialize and exercise at the same time. Has this changed your social life or your exercising life? 
No. I don't think so. No, definitely not. Has this changed your social or exercising life? Indeed. I sit a lot in front of my computer otherwise, but now I'm here getting interviewed on my own channel, so definitely <laughs> things have changed. Get some exercise. And my exercise as well. I've been walking like three, four kilometers every day for three days. <laughs> That's better than sitting at the computer. Uh, is it easy to talk with strangers when playing this game? Talk, talk. You say hello. And People are kind of in the game right now. I think everyone, everybody wants to grind levels and things like that. So, but especially at gyms when you're trying to take over a gym where the people just capture that gym, then you can get some trash talk and things like that. <laughs> Is it easier to talk with strangers when playing this game? I haven't done so yet. No, it's a bit embarrassing to talk to someone that's doing the same thing as you. I mean, like, we're Swedes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you haven't been to the park yet, I take it? No. I've well, been to the park, but never talked to anyone. I haven't been to the park yet. Typical Swede, yeah. But I mean, like, we started playing yesterday as well, so... Yeah. Okay. Is it easy to talk to s with strangers when playing this game? Yeah. I asked you about an interview, so yeah. To yep. me it is, I am talking with a lot of people. <laughs> the first day was kind of unsocial, but today I've been talking to a lot of people, so yeah. And it's also building up, the more you spend time you spend here, the more you see people here again, and then you start talking with them, so it's building up. It's kind of a poke center all over here. <laughs> this kind of looks like a Pokeball as well, if they color it yellow, or sorry, not yellow, if they color it white and red, it's going to be a Pokeball. Maybe That's they cool. change it. Yeah, <laughs> this keeps up anyway. The final day of my video. By the time of day 3 I had visited tons of locations I never knew existed before and the first thing I did was to put my Pokemon in a gym for the first time. My name advertising my YouTube channel and all. Seeing my name and Pokemon displayed for everyone to see was a mighty feeling. Even though my Pokemon level sucked and I probably ruined everything for my unknown teammates. But still. It was hard to know which people were my teammate or not because... Right now there are like 5 of these lures in the area, so right, I am walking around in circles all over this park. There are one, it's one there, one over there, and then there are three over here. And all of them have lures right now, so this is what, what happens when you have an area that looks like this. There are players everywhere gathering to catch their Pokémon. It's pretty insane actually. And it never ends. People are just herding here. Like bees to honey is a pretty good expression. Or bees to pollen to be more honest. I don't know who my teammates were or who were my opponents. But since you get a few free lures as you level up, I use them up here. To help others and of course myself. I also helped myself to some liquid. I get thirsty so I kind of went inside and bought this. <laughs> Shit, I walked into a tree. It looks like this. It's frozen yogurt mineral water. This is the first time I'm trying it, so we'll see if it tastes well. It's like bubbling yogurt inside my mouth. It's about the same as the chocolate bar one. Not good, not bad. Okay, back to Pokemon. The CP level of my found Pokemon started to get higher, and I also started finding new and rarer Pokemon. But don't get me wrong, I still found the not so rare ones. Some Yoshi eggs you collect also hatch as you walk around a lot. And this happened to me today as well. And I got myself a Porygon. Not only that, I also got my very first great Pokeballs which helps you catch Pokemon much much easier. I also did a lot of stadium fighting this day. I heard critique about how the combat is performed compared to the older games, but I think it's good that it's easy. It makes it easier to new Pokemon players to get involved, and it also makes the experience smooth on the cell phone. You tap to attack and hold your finger, when it works, to unleash special attacks. Fast, simple. And difficult like hell if your Pokemon are too low level. The only thing you can do is to heal and try again, or give up and start leveling again. 
What is the best memory or moment you had with the game so far? The Pokemon Go? Yes. Oh, well, I played for one week, so I haven't had that many. Um, is this the best moment then? Could be, could be. <laughs> one of them, totally, up there with top three. Uh, but, but I gotta say when, because uh, my two first evolution of Eevee got Jolteon, so I kind of thought that, okay, because I choose the yellow team, I'm gonna fix with the Jolteon, so I was glad to surprise when I got the Vaporeon for the third time. I heard about that name changing tactic also on the Eevee, so maybe I, I haven't had a Flareon yet, so we we'll test them in the future. What name change tactic? Uh, I heard it on Reddit that uh, there's an episode in the Pokemon series where there are three guys, three brothers, four brothers actually, where three brothers have the evolved Eevee, each of the Yolti and Vaporeon and uh, Flareon. The, these brothers have a special name like, I don't remember that now, but if it's Sparky and Pyro and things like that. So a dude on Reddit come up with like, Nick, Eevee, after the brother you want to evolve the Eevee into, so... I haven't tried that yet, I will try it as soon as I get a high level Eevee, so... What is the best memory or moment you had with the game so far? Both in-game or social ones? <laughs> Maybe when I caught Squirrel on the blue yesterday? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't have any specific thing, but the fact that I can do something when I don't have something to yeah. do at work. <laughs> what is the best memory or moment you had in the game so far? Uh, this has to be it. I've never <laughs> been to the Mario channel before, so this has to be it. What do you think people who don't play the game think when they see these herds of Pokemon players everywhere? It's a phenomenon. Um, well, I can... I realized that people in the traffic maybe got upset the people walking over across the roads without looking, but I think it's kind of it's crazy and there's a majority of the, of the people who play the game so you can't say that we, we, we kind of are nerdy, but most of these people weren't born when this game came out, I mean when it came out in 97 Pokemon came You mean out. the original? The original Pokemon, yeah, 97 I think red and blue version. So I think they, a lot of these people here are just the collecting addicts like me, but I'm Not still me. a Pokemon nerd, yeah. So it's kind of fun to collect them all. What do you think people who don't play the game think when they see these herds of Pokemon players everywhere? <laughs> crazy. Yeah, I think we're, we look crazy. Yeah. Real crazy. I don't know. And weird. I mean, like, Nero feels, is this real nerd in this no. No. Uh, But this time we are. Now we are, I think, yeah. Yep. The nerds are finally gonna conquer the world. Yeah, <laughs> it seems like it. <laughs> what do you think people who don't play the game think when they see these herds of Pokemon players everywhere? I don't know, but I laugh when I see them looking at us. <laughs> we always see them standing there like, what the fuck is going on? And some people have heard about it, they're like, this is insane, what's going on? <laughs> And I think some people bicycling and stuff gets kind of annoyed as well because I almost ran into one who came from behind. <laughs> so he was a little bit annoyed, but that's. But I found a drowsy, so that's fine. Oh yeah, that's good. So worth it. They're good for leveling. What is your best tip to people who's about to start the game? Don't use the Stardust uh, until you reach the higher levels, um, because you will always meet higher level Pokémon. So it's unnecessary to use Stardust um, in early uh, level Pokémon. And uh, also uh, capture all of the Pokémon. Uh, it's good to, uh, especially the Lucky Egg tactic when you use the Lucky Egg to just evolve as many uh, Pokémon as possible and just grinding levels. I'm trying to do that myself. It takes a while to collect all the Pokémon needed. What is your best tip to people who is about to start the game? Oh. Oh. Don't choose any of those three <laughs> Pokemons. Wait until you can catch Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, run away from the first three ones. 
Yeah. And go and get the catcher instead. So both of you have pie catcher? No, we didn't we... know it then. Uh -huh. <laughs> Too late. Yeah. What is your best tip to people who is about to start a game? Some people say don't use stardust, and that's kind of true. But if you want start, if you want to gather coins, you have to spend some stardust so you can take over gyms at an early stage, and then you can buy backpacks and stuff to enhance your gaming experience. But don't overuse it because you're gonna need a lot of it later. So if you want to take over gyms early, you can do it, but it's up to you. Awesome. And also talk to people because this game has absolutely no instructions whatsoever. <laughs> That's kind of one of the things. I think they did it on uh, purpose so people would socialize with each other. So I think it's kind of good. At first I was pissed off at it, but now I'm kind of happy that they did so. Thanks a lot for the interview. No problem, thank you. Okay. Well, thank you for the interview. No problem. Yeah, thank you too. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for interviewing me on my own <laughs> channel. Oh. <laughs> the third day was over. I had spoken to a barely woe player, two young girls were fighting to get the same gym as me, interviewed three people including myself, and of course met the girls who recorded my own interview. And found some more bugs. Overall I enjoy this game. It gets harder the more you play but also more rewarding. And I'm addicted. I'm exercising way more than when I was just playing other games and I'm meeting new people. This game brings out the social sides of a lot of people. The biggest issue this game has is the performance. Several crashes, servers going down, or Pokemon suddenly disappearing ruins the game completely. Especially if you pay for a 30 minute double X period and cannot log in afterwards. The concept is highly addicting and I love playing the game. And I know that once these bugs are fixed, this game will make even more of a revolution than it already has. As I go to my bird in my apartment after another day of Pokemon and shopping, I feel happy. Happy that I tried this game out to make this video. And happy to know that I am here to stay. Nu jävlar ska det pissas! Thank you all for watching this video. These three days was a lot of fun and I simply can't stop playing. Even though World of Warcraft just released a new transmog patch, I just keep wanting to catch more Pokemon and meet new people in the park or wherever I go. Because of Nintendo's urge to punish people who use their content on YouTube, I don't know if I'll make a lot more gameplay videos of Pokemon, but feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of the stuff I do. Have a nice day, and remember, catch them all! Uh, has this... Jag kan vänta till bilen och åka för annars låter det för jävligt. Nu tittar de jättemycket på oss också. Hennes mål för dagen har fler Pokémon som hennes pojke. Okej. Okej, nu ska vi se. Folk brukar kalla sina barn för Pokémon. Jag träffade en gammal barndomskamrat där inne och jag bara, ska inte du spela Pokémon? Nej, jag har den här och på sitt barn. Står du lagom ifrån nu så att den... Om du inte har pillat på något som du ska Ja, den filmar fortfarande. Ja, det här hoppar jag inte på dem. Den tänker jag att jag fick arva här nu. Det Nej, det gör ingenting. Det blir bara roligare för någon som tittar. Okej. Okay. Okay. Jag ska bara prata lite först då. Okej, okay. mm -hmm. apparently I was, uh, I was gonna interview two girls here, but they didn't want to, so instead they interviewed me about my own... Titta där du Pokémon!